Hi everyone, welcome back to Curious by Nature. My name is Marjorie. Here at the museum, we take care of a lot of animals, from butterflies, to turtles, to frogs, to fish. Today, we're gonna feed some of the fish that live here at the museum. Let's get started. Hi everyone, so now we're down here and we're getting ready to feed our fish. I'm gonna keep my mask on because we're near our animals. Um, and we're going to uh, start off with feeding our good water habitat. So these uh, fish live in a habitat that's representative of a non-polluted water. So non-polluted clear water, it's gonna support a lot of different types of life, a lot of different types of fish that are going to eat a lot of different types of things. So we actually have six different types of food we're gonna be feeding them. And while we're feeding them, we're going to be feeding some fish they like to eat on the bottom, and some fish like to eat on the top, and some fish like to eat different things. So first, we're going to feed our fish some Daphnia, which are basically teeny tiny crustaceans. So we're feeding the fish along the bottom first. And now I'm going to sprinkle some, some of that same food along the top to make sure that fish that like to eat along the top are getting some of that food too. There's a lot of diversity in here, so they're gonna eat a lot of different things. So now we're going to feed some brine shrimp. So again, I'm going to put some food along the bottom for the fish that like to eat on the bottom. And then I'm going to sprinkle some of that food along the top too for the fish that like to eat on the surface of the water as opposed to the bottom. Now we're going to feed some mice shrimp. So again, we're gonna feed some fish at the bottom. Get into all the little hiding places the fish might like to hide. And then we're going to feed some of the fish that like to be on top. So this is the fourth type of food they have. This, these are called blood worms. So you can see they're tiny red worms. So we're feeding these along the bottom. And then we're gonna be feeding these along the top too. Now we're going to feed some algae chips here, some algae chips here. So these are just chips made out of algae, so made out of plants for the fish that like to eat plants. And what they are probably really going to be excited about is now we're actually going to feed some bugs. So we have some super worms and we have some mealworms in here. So you might have seen us feed some other animals these. So these are superworms and mealworms. And because they're wriggling and moving, these fish usually like to eat these bugs. So in a healthy ecosystem with a lot of different species of plants and animals, they're going to eat in a lot of different ways and so that way they aren't competing with each other. And um, it can support more diversity of life. And that's actually one of the ways that ecologists and biologists can tell if a river or a lake has a healthy ecosystem is if it has a lot of different types of fish and a lot of different types of plants. Scientists will actually go out to a river or a lake and catch fish and the number of types of fish that they catch will actually tell them if there's a healthy ecosystem or, or not. So if there's not a whole lot of different types of fish, then it's probably not super healthy, but if they can find a lot of different types of fish in a river or a lake, that means it's a much healthier ecosystem. So in this habitat right now, we have a few dis different types of fish. We have some uh, dace, those are the ones with the lines on them. And then we have a couple types of minnows as well. The, the dace, um, they're called red belly dace. The males will actually turn bright red on the bottom um, when they're trying to attract females. So every once in a while when you come see these fish, they'll, uh, there'll be a few that are bright red and those are gonna be the male fish. 
and sometimes you can see darters in here. Those fish are pretty cool. They live along the bottom and I think it looks like they walk sometimes. Um, so in here you'll see, as well as a lot of different types of fish, you'll see a lot of different types of plants too. Um, having a lot of different types of plants, a diversity of plants, that also shows us that there's a healthy ecosystem here. And so you'll also see some rocks and logs and that makes good habitats for fish to hide in. So you'll see we have some small fish in here and some bigger fish in here. So a lot of times the smaller fish will feel safer if they have somewhere to hide from the bigger fish. It just helps them feel a little safer. These are some of the fish you'd find in our local waterways. They only live in uh, healthy river ecosystems. So low pollution, it has to have high in oxygen. Um, and it has to have places uh, with plants and rocks and places for them to hide. So nothing that has been dredged. So these fish are very picky about where they'll live. And that's our fish feeding for today. That's our show for today. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed learning about how we take care of the fish here at the museum. Be sure to leave any questions in the comments below and subscribe so you never miss an episode. We'll see you here next time on Curious by Nature.